This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, will the fight between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua, the rematch, go ahead? Will Alexander Usyk vacate the belts? Will he be stripped of the belts? Will he be allowed to hold on to the belts but not fight Anthony Joshua yet? Reason being, obviously, the well-publicised news that Russia are camped on the borders of Ukraine and could well be attacking Ukraine. Alexander Usyk is Ukrainian, for those of you who don't know. Now, we know that certain sports people, such as Vladimir Klitschko, he signed up to be part of the military to defend Ukraine against Russia. Um, his brother, his older brother, Vitaly Klitschko, of course, is mayor of Kiev. Now, we know that Alexander Usyk, firstly, he's a very, very patriotic Ukrainian. And of course, he's very close with the Klitschkos as well. So has he signed up as well? Um, is he ready to defend his country? All these kind of things will be answered, I suppose, if and when Russia invade Ukraine. Now, listen, I don't really follow the news too much. So quite why they're invading, I believe it's something to do with Ukraine won't have links with NATO and Russia don't like that. You want to be friends with them, but don't be friends with us. Now we're going to invade you. Hey, listen, I'm sure there's more reasons to it than what I've just said. But anyway, how's this going to affect the Anthony Joshua rematch? I know it's minuscule in comparison to what could be happening between Russia and Ukraine. But as far as boxing is concerned, what's going to happen with the world heavyweight titles? Of course, Alexander Usyk is a unified world heavyweight champion, WBO, WBA, IBF and IBO. I don't like the IBO too much. But... What's going to happen? Would the sanctioning bodies give Alexander Usyk leeway? As in, you know what, keep hold of the belts when you're ready and the whole conflict is sorted out, come back. Would they make him say champion in recess? So in other words, take the belts off him and say, whenever you're ready to come back, you can fight for any, any of the belts that uh, you choose. What would then happen if they did strip him or he was to be vac or if he, if he was to vacate the belts, would Anthony Joshua get all those belts back? Would they then be fragmented without Anthony Joshua having the option to go fight for one of them? A lot of questions, I suppose, remain unanswered. Now, the likely scenario, if Russia does invade Ukraine, obviously, Alexander Usyk, he's not going to really, really be in the right kind of frame of mind to be training. It's not ideal circumstances, obviously, to go into a training camp, especially as his training camp's are usually done in Ukraine anyway. So firstly, that's going to cause a bit of a problem there. Um, he's also going to be distracted. And obviously, other things are more important than going in there and earning a few quid to have a little boxing match, isn't there? But I think the likely outcome will be that he'll be made champion in recess. And once he's ready, he'll probably come back and choose one of the belts to go for. And if he was to win that one, he'd, he'd still be the... Um, champion of recess for the other two so so he can just go back and belt collect if he really needs to because they're not just going to hold all the belts are they and then he can just come back and fight for all the belts in one go unless of course by the time he's ready to come back whoever has got all the belts if they manage to belt collect them all before Usyk is ready to come back then maybe he can go straight after them at that point but I don't believe that Anthony Joshua will get all the belts back straight away now should he get all the belts back straight away well it's arguable, isn't it? It is arguable. But I don't think that's what will happen. I don't think Anthony Joshua will be awarded all the belts back. Yes, of course, he's entitled to that rematch, of course. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think that all the belts will then be vacated and Joshua will get to choose what belt it is that he wants to go after against whoever the challenger is. So, for example, if he says, you know what, I want to go after the WBO belt, then obviously he'll have to fight Joe Joyce. If he wants to go after the WBA belt, well, he may have to currently go after Trevor Bryan or a Robert Hellenius. We know Dan Dubois, of course, he's got that fight with um, Trevor Bryan at some point for the regular belt. But I imagine that, to the, that they would probably elevate um, Trevor Bryan. I mean, that'd just be ridiculous, but that's the kind of thing that the WBA would do, obviously, with their relationship with Don King. The IBF, well, there is currently no mandatory challenger, but they could well say to Joshua, well, if you want to fight for the IBF, then we know Filip Perkovich, he's got to go fight Zili Zhang for the vacant mandatory position. Maybe you can fight the winner of that fight or go straight into a Herkovich fight. 
I mean, just based on those scenarios, you'd imagine that the WBA will probably be the more simple one to do because obviously Trevor Bryan, there's no way that Trevor Bryan is defeating Anthony Joshua, no chance at all. Personally, I think that Anthony Joshua defeats Joe Joyce and uh, he defeats Filip Perkovic, but they're more risky, more risky. And it wouldn't surprise me if either one of those guys did beat Anthony Joshua. But that aside, as I said, there's far more important things going on with Russia and Ukraine. I said, I don't watch news ever really. I never really watch it. I just happened to hear it on the radio this morning that it looks like they could well be invading. What impact will that have on the unified World Heavyweight Champion, Alexander Usyk? Let's wait and see. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you on the next video.